Let's start by looking at last week's hopeful words. See if you can match the word and picture to its definition. I've numbered each definition so that you can check your answers afterwards. Pause the video and when you're ready for the answers, click play. Our first definition matched the word optimistic. Our second definition matched the word encouraging. Our third definition matched the word promising. Our fourth definition matched the word idealistic. Our fifth definition matched the word sanguine. And our sixth definition matched the word auspicious. Today we're going to start learning a new set of emotion words. Have a look at the pictures for today. Today's words are all to do with being stressed and scared. Which of these would you be most scared of? I have to say that I'm quite terrified of spiders. There are different levels of feeling stressed and scared. Some of these might make you feel more stressed or more scared. Can you decide which one would make you feel most scared? Here is our first word. Look carefully at the picture. Why is Shanghai feeling stressed or scared? Pause the video if you want to look for longer. Our first word is flustered, which means nervous, muddled and unsettled. The way you act when you forget your homework. Can you read it 10 times in a flustered voice? Pause the video. Can you spot the synonyms for flustered? Flustered is an adjective, so your synonyms will be adjectives too. Remember to look back at the definition to help you. Pause the video whilst you find them. Did you spot them? Our synonyms for flustered are muddled, nervous and unsettled. Now pause the video to practice the word pairs. Here's my sentence. The flustered actor forgot his lines, panicked and fell off stage. Can you come up with your own sentence for the word pair flustered waiter? Picture what a flustered waiter might be doing and that would help you. Remember, you can write it or practice your sentence out loud. Pause the video. This picture made me laugh a lot. What might be making Army scared in this picture? Pause the video to look for longer. Our next word is apprehensive, which means nervous or afraid when you feel worried about a big decision that you've made. Can you practice saying the word apprehensive as many times as you can in 30 seconds? Pause the video. Can you spot the three synonyms for apprehensive? Remember, it's an adjective, so the synonyms will be adjectives too. Look back at the definition to help you. Pause the video. Our three synonyms were worried, afraid and nervous. Now pause the video to practice the word pairs. Here's my sentence. Oz's apprehensive expression showed how much she hated flying. Now, can you come up with your own sentence for the word pair apprehensive feeling? Think of a time when you have felt apprehensive to help you. Remember, you can write your sentence or practice it out loud. Pause the video. Look carefully at the picture for our next word. Pause the video if you want to look for longer. Our next word is exasperated, which means annoyed or frustrated when you feel like screaming because you can't have what you want. Practice saying the word 10 times in an exasperated voice. Can you spot the three synonyms for exasperated? Remember to look back at the definition to help you. Pause the video while you find them. Did you spot them? Our synonyms for exasperated are irritated, frustrated and annoyed. The rest are our word pairs. I'll start you off with the first one. Exasperated outburst. An outburst means a sudden release of strong emotion. Pause the video and practice the rest. Here's my sentence for exasperated. Yin and Yang were such wild children that they drove their exasperated parents crazy. Now write or practice out loud your own sentence for exasperated sigh. Pause the video. Next, we have three more stressed, scared words before you go off to practice independently. I'll give you an example of how to use each of these words as well as their definitions. Our next word is distressed, which means very worried and upset. You might get all sweaty and bite your nails. For example, 
Oz was in a distressed state after the thief stole her purse. You might also see or hear this word in a different context. Fabric might be described as distressed, where it is deliberately ripped. For example, you can see some distressed jeans in the picture. It definitely doesn't mean that the jeans are feeling worried. Our next word is anxious, which means worried or nervous, like panicking about a test at school. For example, Plato's anxious eyes showed that he was actually very nervous about finishing his exam. Our last word today is petrified, which means terrified or scared to death, like being so frightened that you turn to stone. For example, Yin was petrified of monsters, so he always kept the light on. Now you're going to practice finding synonyms and word pairs for these three words independently. Remember, you can use the worksheet, practice on your own paper, or practice out loud. When you've finished, the answers are on the next slide. Pause the video and practice these words. Well done for all your hard work so far. Here's my star challenge for you. I'd like you to write your own ambitious, interesting sentence for each of our scared, stressed words from today. Here's my example. Miss Jones was distressed when she discovered a spider in the classroom, but luckily the children saved her. Pause the video and practice your own sentences. <laughs> 